Hi guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make artichokes a la polita. It's also known as artichokes Constantinople. I've gotten many requests to teach this recipe. Artichokes are in season, so I'm making lots of things with artichokes. If they're not in season where you are, then a lot of times you can find artichoke hearts frozen at your um, supermarket. Those are great to use because it cuts through all of the hassle of cleaning an artichoke, which I'm going to teach you how to do. Let's go over the ingredients and then we're going to get started. So we have an artichoke that's all right that's whole right here and then i have three that i've already cleaned because we're only going to need the hearts we have some chopped up carrots some finely sliced scallions some thawed out frozen peas olive oil salt pepper lots of lemons so we're going to use the juice of fresh lemons and then we need a little bit of all-purpose flour some cubed potatoes dill and i have an onion in my pot that i've chopped up finely, but the potatoes need to be about one and a half to two inches in thickness. So when artichokes are in season, I mean this is a delicious dish to make. It's very elegant. It's very fresh tasting with all of the lemon. It's also vegan because there's no dairy or anything like that in it. The sauce is creamy with the lemon and the flour the help from the flour and also the starch that, that's released from the potatoes. So it's just a lovely dish to serve during like the hot um, or warm time of the year. So I'm going to teach you first how we prepare the artichoke. But actually before we do that, we're going to go over to the stove so that we can start cooking the onions. So I have my onions in about a quarter cup of olive oil that I've chopped up fairly small and they're, you just want to cook them until they begin to soften up and get a little bit of color. And once that happens, you're going to want to just grate your garlic in. So I have two garlic cloves. Just mix it around, let it warm through. At this point, we're just gonna add our scallions in. And we're gonna reduce the heat to a very low simmer while we clean our artichoke. So when you're cleaning an artichoke, you wanna have a really long or really sharp serrated knife, a smaller knife, like, like a paring knife. And then if you have a small ice cream scoop or melon baller, that's just gonna make taking out the hairy inside, inner part very easy. First, you can slice your lemon because we're gonna use that to rub all around the artichoke so that way it stays really nice and um, doesn't turn brown. You also wanna have a bowl of water with some lemons in it. This is also gonna keep the artichoke really fresh and white. And be careful because when you're dealing with an artichoke, a lot of time there are spikes on the leaves, so you don't wanna get stabbed by those, it hurts. So we're just gonna slice off the top. Just like that. And put it in your compost container. Then we're just gonna take off all of these leaves down here, about the first two or three layers. Once you get rid of most of the outer leaves, then you can cut off another, maybe like third of the top, just like that. Just until you get to this very fibrous, hairy inner part, that's known as the choke. And you don't want to even try to eat that because it's called a choke because if you try to eat it, it'll make you choke. So now you want to take this part out and none of these leaves are edible. Anytime you eat artichokes, this bottom, very light, fleshy part, that's the part that, that's edible. So you're not wasting anything. And doing this with an ice cream scooper just makes it so easy. If you don't have an ice, a little mini ice cream scoop like this, then go ahead and use a spoon and take care not to take out any of the inner fleshy part because that's what is going to create this delicious dish and that's what you want. You don't want to get rid of that. You're just getting rid of just those little hairy parts. And while you're doing this, you want to take lemon juice and rub it all over the exposed parts to keep them from turning brown. Now we're going to cut off most of the stem. All you need is just a little tip. And then going from the stem part down, we're just going to shave off, let me get this bowl here. From the stem part down, you're just going to shave off all the green outer parts. It is a little labor of love, but it's totally worth it because this dish is just very tasty and so worth it when artichokes are in season. Once that part's done, you wanna take your bowl with the really cold water, 
squeeze lots of lemon juice over it. And as you can see, we got rid of all the, the green parts. And once you get down to the white part, you're going to have a little beautiful handle. And the, the heart of the artichoke is going to be ready. Now we're just going to strain the water from our potatoes and put everything in our pot together to cook. So our onions are really nice and soft, as you can see. Now we're just going to add our carrots. I'm also going to add the flour at this point so it can kind of cook out some of its raw taste. Give it a nice mix and we could increase the heat for a little while just to get everything going. We're going to add our potatoes, a little bit of salt and black pepper. We're just going to mix this all up and the potatoes and artichokes and carrots usually have the same uh, length of cooking time so we're going to put everything to cook all together. It just doesn't get simpler than this. Now we're just going to go ahead and put our artichokes in just like that and we're going to cover them, cover everything with some water. We're going to bring it to a boil and once it comes to a boil I'm going to cover it and let it simmer about 45 minutes to an hour or until our artichokes, potatoes and all the vegetables are nice and tender and then we're just going to finish it off with the peas and lemon and some dill. I've juiced one lemon, a medium sized lemon and I've just added about a teaspoon of cornstarch in here just to thicken um, my stew up just a little bit. It's totally optional if you want it more on the brothy side you can leave the cornstarch out and now we're going to go ahead and add the final ingredients. So the vegetables should be really, should be perfectly cooked. Let's check. So you just want to put your fork through the potato and it should be tender. And the same thing with the artichoke. Now at this point we're going to go in and add our green peas, our lemon juice and cornstarch. I'm going to increase the heat and bring it to a boil. And I'm also going to taste the seasoning right now and see if it needs some more salt or pepper. Oh, the sweetness from the onion and the carrots just flavored it beautifully. I'm just going to add just a little bit more salt. And for my taste, I'm just going to add just a tiny bit more pepper. Top it off with the freshly chopped dill. And just like that, this meal is ready to be served. So just like that, a delicious and light vegetarian dish that's perfect for spring or summer. It, to me, I can eat this just as is with some nice hearty toasted bread, maybe a little sprinkling of feta cheese, but you can totally keep it all vegan. There is enough flavor in there that really nothing is missing. This is another way to keep things nice and light and healthy. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below and if you want me to keep teaching you how to make more vegetarian uh, meals, I, personally, if it was up to me, I would eat vegetarian probably most of the week, but um, children and the husband like a little meat here and there, so we do incorporate lots of meat dishes, which I do share with you as well. We're going to dig into this, but before we do, I just want to sh t tell you a few things. So I keep my, my um, artichokes a la bolita on the brothy side. First of all, as this dish sits, as you know, if you've made dishes with potatoes and things like that, it, when it sits, it absorbs a lot of the liquid and then it gets a little bit thicker. So I do like to keep, start it off a little brothy because of course, as it sits, it's going to become a little bit thicker. If you wanted this to be, um, have less broth and more of like a sauce, just put half the amount of liquid that I, that I did in the beginning. But let me show you how delicious it looks in the plate. You want to serve it with a little, little slice of lemon and even a little drizzle of extra virgin cold pressed Greek olive oil. And we are ready to eat this delicious meal. Mm. That is just perfect. I love the green peas. Artichokes are my favorite this time of year. The recipe will be on the website, DemetrasDishes.com. Link will always be in the description box down below. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.